Okay, so let's take our stance. Just bring your shoulders back a little bit, let the shoulders drop straight down. So that the shoulders feel like they're over your hips, especially this part of the shoulder. Okay, head is up. Push head back slightly. Tuck the chin very slightly as well. Okay, so we do our Wuji standing in the beginning. Okay, so pick a comfortable position. You might be standing in this position for maybe three to five minutes. Depending on how long I can distract you for. Okay, so head is up. The lining the top of the head or 100 meetings point above way just slightly towards the back, over your spine. Okay, so once you have over the spine, then we have the shoulders. Not pulled back, but not forwards either. We just drop them straight down. Now you'll feel this straight away. And it should feel more balanced on the feet as well. If your shoulders are too forwards, you'll find that if your shoulders come forwards, your weight will come onto the ball of your foot. If your shoulders are pushed back too much, then your chest will come out. So have somewhere in the middle. And I'm dropping straight down, that's it. And then lengthening through the fingers. Just let the weight of the fingers and the hands pull your arms down. Tongue on the roof of the mouth behind your front teeth. Okay, and then without disturbing your shoulder, put one hand on your abdomen and one hand on your tail and feel how your tailbone is sitting. Okay, so we just want to feel if it's not in the right place, tilt and tuck your pelvis slightly under, and I mean very slightly. Like you're about to sit down on a chair holding that position for a few seconds. It just starts to feel comfortable. So you can start to release the back. Okay, and then change the hands back down to Wuji standing. We always begin in this posture. If you've got it right, you'll probably feel everything is quite even, including the tucking of the tail, everything is quite even. And then from the back of the head, lining up with the big bone at the back of your neck. This lines up with the spine going all the way down. Visualize a line from the top of the head all the way down to the tailbone. The line is then dividing into two, going down through both your legs, both your feet. In the beginning, we don't close the eyes, we just kind of keep the eyes open. And then we have this, uh, all the organs, the yin organs sinking down. So this is chin, sinking, sinking and letting go of. Yeah, your thighs will start to take the weight of your upper body. But nothing is collapsing, it collapse the waist, or your elbows, or your shoulders, nothing. This upright posture is posture for alignment, aligning the body in the right way. Okay, so sinking, dropping down. After we've stood for a little bit, maybe two or three minutes, we're just going to lift from the hands, just lifting up and then. Let the elbows go out slightly. So we have our second posture. Feel your chest, feel your chest relax. It's just a feeling of relaxation. Yeah, the relaxation is the song. Everything feels like it's relaxed. The elbows feel like they're relaxed. 
Now, the game is possibly can be quite challenging. So this is our main empty stance that we use for developing our route. Willpower, discipline. And for feeling the movement inside the body. So this is a standing meditation. Jam drum is standing meditation. Feel the expansion and I feel the spine opening a little bit. This will cause the shoulders to open a little bit more. Shoulders stay down in the same position, but they open outwards. So open the elbows. So connect to the forearm, wrist, hands and fingers. Noticing the sensations in your body. Feeling the muscle groups that you can let go of. And then breathing from the abdomen. So if you inhale through your abdomen, your breath will go deep. And if you think about your chest, you'll breathe shallow and your shoulders will rise. If I was doing my own practice, I'd be standing here for about 15, 20 minutes like this. I start inside the body and then you work your way outside. You work your way to the very tip of your skin and then you go outside of your body and then this is the when we reach the state of no mind. Your body should feel like it is one unit. So as you're sinking down and your feet feel like they're pressing into the floor slightly, this will create waves of energy going through your body. And you might experience that as heat, cold, tingling, electricity, uh, feeling of openness. Okay. Getting used to this standing posture is the one that builds the most chi. Getting used to the breathing, always breathing from the abdomen. Okay, and then relax. Bring your hands down just a little way so the shoulders can relax more. Shoulders and elbows are relaxing straight down. Fingers are facing on a slight diagonal towards the ground. So the posture we did before was the human posture. This is the earth element. Again, this posture is fairly easy in the beginning. Paying attention to the tucking of the tailbone as well, sinking straight down. You should feel the weight dropping through the center of your feet. That's it, good. Maintaining this posture. As you maintain this posture, you might wanna consider breathing in the energy from the ground, up to the dantian, where it fills the whole of the lower body. Exhale back down. Just something to concentrate on whilst you're doing your standing, whilst you're letting go, whilst your song, whilst you're sinking. Remember, yang organs stay up, yin organs are down. Okay, good. And then we're going to change to a very different posture. One hand on the center line of your body and then the other hand underneath. One and two. Okay, now we focus on just the spine. Feeling the alignment of the spine. 
with the tail tucked under should feel like it's just dropping straight into the floor. At the same time, pushing it up. Initially, as you breathe into your spine, you focus on the whole spine. And then when you exhale, you breathe upwards and downwards. Let you send the energy up out of your head and down through the uh, perineum. These postures are designed to align your body. Okay, and then release, let go. Bring the hands down, half weight. Inhale here, so feel the abdomen expand. And then exhale, push the diaphragm down opening the fascia so the chi flow out through the legs and out through the hands. You might just feel through the legs in the beginning. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Okay, now we're going to take the middle finger of the right hand and place on the yin tang point. Or third eye point and just see a beam of light going into the center lighting up the upper dantian which is your sense of wisdom and knowledge you see that light light up the center of the head hold the visualization for 30 seconds Okay, and then uh, just drop the hand. Okay, we are going to embrace the horizon. We're going to bring the fingertips towards the third eye point. We're then going to drop the elbows, and then we're going to let the elbows drop and the hands follow the center line of the body down into the ground. And we're not going to do as many as we did yesterday, we're just going to do three on each. Hold for about three seconds. Elbows come in, elbows drop down. Through your legs. Okay, good. And third one. Let's go slow. Elbows close, elbows drop, following the center line of your body. And then find 
Shenzhou, which is Sea of Tranquility, right in the center of your sternum. You know, a very sensitive spot. So this connects you to your middle dantian, your middle dantian, love, love chi. Okay, so feel the light, see the light flow in through your chest and light the center in the central part of your body. This cavern lights up with energy, like turning the light on in an otherwise darkened house. And holding for about 30 seconds. Okay, and then drop the hand. Embrace the horizon into Shenzhou without touching. Uh, okay, and then drop down, down the center line, down the legs. And two, embrace. Hold for a few seconds, drop down. down through the legs, into the feet. And third one, embrace. In, one, two, three, and, and sink. Okay, place your hand, middle finger on the navel, or just below. If you're not comfortable with putting your finger in your navel, then just below is fine. Okay, so then this one, the lower dantian, center for vitality, your center of gravity, the grounding. Check your shoulders haven't risen up. Still that feeling of sinking through the body. Okay, and then the light connecting, like a flame going into the body, or light connecting into the cavernous center part of your dantian, your energy field inside your body. Sit, light up, hold the visualization for about 30 seconds. Hand drops. Okay, this one we're going to do slightly different to how we have been doing it. So we're going to lift upwards. We're going to bring the energy to the navel. We're going to spread the fingers around to the Ming Men and then back down again. Hands are going to come out to the sides. I'm going to drop down a little bit and we're going to lift up. So the chi flow in. Round the belt meridian to the Ming Men, back down to Hui Yin, and then round again. Number three, Chi flow up and round, and down. And four, round and down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. And back down again. Good, and then lift. Just bringing the hands over the head. Hold for three seconds. 
sink down through your body, down through your feet, and two. And sinking. And three. And sinking. That's it, good. Okay, bringing the hands back to the dancing area. Okay, so what we want to do, we're going to lift the energy like a ball rising into middle dancing. Turn the hands over and then drop the ball back down. And two. And back down. Three. Just go slow. And back down. So you're joining lower with middle. Inhale, exhale. Five. And exhale. Just go slow. Six. Exhale. Seven. Exhale. Eight. Exhale. Nine. Exhale. Okay, and then turn the palms while you're holding a ball at your lower abdomen. Really, your dantian chi is spilling out into the biomagnetic field around you. Okay, and now we're going to lift that energy from lower to upper and then back down again, like traffic lights. And two, so that all the dantians are connecting to one another. So there's no disconnection inside the body. Three, four, And just go slow, go at your own pace, five. Try and feel each energy center. Dropping into the next one. Six. Seven. And nine. Holding the ball at the base. So from Hui Yin to Ming Men to Navel, rolling the ball. This small water wheel movement. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Okay, and then we reverse the direction. Okay, we come from the Huiyin to navel to Ming Men. So include your hips with this movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's it, good. And then just resting the hands. Open the hands out much wider. The same kind of stance. Okay, big ball. The palms are connected energetically. Okay, rolling the ball. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Change reverse direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, pause, hold, bring the hands into about football size. Okay, and then we begin again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Pause, hold. Bring closer together, so about uh, baseball or softball size. And drop the hands down a little bit. Okay, this one much smaller movement. So we try and feel the movement inside as well as outside. Circle one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and the reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. And then feel the energy between the hand. Place your hand close to your body without touching. Feel the energy drawing into the lower dantian. Okay. And then we're going to bring the hands drop down, straight down. Over the head, fingers point to the 100 meetings point. Here the chest is open, elbows are out. Count to three and then chi flow like your wash internally down and out through the feet. Two. Hold, and down, gently, slowly, 
That's Hunyan primordial Qigong. Third one. One, two, and three. Okay, and bring down. And out through the feet. Okay, bring hands up. Shoulders stay back. Fingertips point up, representing the holding the upper dantian. You can, you can just kind of lift the hands up to upper dantian height. It's called Kai Her Dantian, open, closed dantian. Open, inhale, close. Two, close. Three, close. Four, close. Five, close. Six, expanding infinitely, close. Okay, naturally. Drop the hands down to Shanjong point. Fingers face forwards. Okay, inhale. Open. Feel that center filling with light, energy, vibration, and close. Open middle dantian. Close. Three. Close, four, close, five, close, six, close. And then dropping the hands downwards. This one connecting to lower dantian. Open, inhale. Feel the lower dantian expand and then contract. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale, five, exhale, six, exhale, seven, exhale, eight, exhale, nine, Exhale. Again, feeling the energy flowing into the ball between your hands. Bring the hands to the navel without touching. Feel that heat going into your body, into the center of gravity. Visualize it, see it, feel it. Okay, and then come down. One, two, over the head, down the front, down through the legs, down through the feet, just direct the energy with your mind, with your intention, with your E. Over the bar weight. And down. Third one. And exhale. Sinking, dropping. 
staying upright. Okay, and then we come to the next one. Hands together. And rub your hands. Activate the energy in your hands. Place your hands on your chest. So this has your kidney point, your liver, your heart, you're draining all of these points as you breathe in. And then out. Shake three times. Rub. Hold. Feel the heat go in and then inhale. Exhale. Do this one six times. Heat go in, inhale. Exhale. And notice that each time you breathe in, you'll find that you'll get deeper and deeper as the area clears more and more. So you're clearing all the old stagnant energy from your heart, your lungs, and your kidney channels, and your stomach channel as well. Inhale. Exhale. Shake off the excess energy. Number five, inhale. Exhale. And number six. In China, I would do each one of these like nine times. Everything was nine times. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, and now because the hands are activated, we no longer need to rub the hands. We can hold the hands close to the body, close to the chest, at the top part of your lung. So this is called sun and moon turning, this whole exercise. So your right hand, feel like you have the, visualize the sun underneath it and the left hand the moon. Okay, so sun and moon turning. Just a digestive or chocolate orange size circle over the top of your lung. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and change. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then dropping down to the bottom of your rib cage and then back up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Change direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine okay and then all the way to the base to the top two three four five six seven eight nine change two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we want to bring the hands into this abdomen area again. Feel the heat from your hands. Visualize the center. Imagine you're beaming energy into the center. Feel that. 
dividing the hands down each leg, drop, lift, over the head, count of three, and then we come down, two, Shower the energy through your body, dropping down, feeling through the hips. Okay, and third one. Lift over the top of the head, over this 100 meters point. One, two, and three. And drop and sink and relax. Okay, here, whole ball. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So you feel the chi ball beginning to form between your hands. Four, five, six. Take a slightly wider stance, just slightly. Bring the hands inwards to the dantian. Come over, come down outside of your leg. And round your foot and up the inside. And slow to dantian, to the outside. And down and round and up. Slow. Two. Three. Okay, and then separate the hand up into the hips a little bit. Inhale, draw the hands away. Exhale, bring the hands closer. And two. And exhale. And three. And exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Again, you're building a chi ball underneath each palm. Once you can feel that, bring up the round kidneys down each leg. Round the foot up the inside to dantian, round the belt to the kidneys and back down again. And two, up, round, down, separate, and up. Bring the feet in a little bit again. Feeling that center. Okay, separate the hands. Drop down both legs, lift up. We have 12 movements in this Hunyan Qigong form. And down. Um, and divide into two legs. Okay, and lift. One, two, and three, and then down. Wash, wash, to you get to the lower extremity. As you get to the tailbone, divide into two, and go down with the legs. Third one. Pause. One, two, three. And 
going down. So body remains upright. Normally sink down. Body still remains upright. Okay, coming up. This next one, bring the hands inwards. So from the tailbone, we bring the hands around to the back. Imagine going underneath the tailbone, following up the spine to the top of the head, and then back down the front. Microcosmic orbit. So we go earth, human, heaven, and then back down again. And three, four, five, again, just go slow, six, seven, eight, nine, We stop at the lower tailbone and then we draw the energy up the front to the top of the head and then back down to the tailbone again. Looping underneath the tailbone to come back up. Reversing the microcosmic orbit. So one is the wind path. I think this one is the wind path that comes up and down. And the reverse of that is the fire path. Take three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then just finish. Bring the hands lower down to end for the heat, for the chi flow in. And so you'll just beam that light or energy into that center. Coming down, lifting up. Hold for three. Wash the head, the neck, the torso. Divide into two when you get to the tailbone. Down the legs to the feet. One, two, and three. And sinking. Third one. One two and three and down three more movements left of the form so again we're going to take a little bit wider stance we're going to bring the hands into the body we're going to turn we're going to swing the arms in front of us keep the arms down below we come to slightly around the side and then we let the body fling back one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then smaller, two, three, four, five, six, seven, getting smaller, eight, nine, and then change. Turn to the other side, swing the hands round, two, it's working on the belt meridian again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, smaller, two, three, four, five, Getting smaller, six, seven, eight, nine. Hand space, draw the feet in again. Feel the chi flow into your dance in. Like you're beaming in yourself, let the shoulders drop straight down. Okay, we go down, divide into two legs, lift up, over the head, one, two, three, sinking down. At the tail, we divide into two and separate, lift, one, two, and three, down. One, two, and three, divide into two. And third one, up. Over. Down. Divide into two. And step small, lift up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, sending the energy out in all directions. So old energy dissipates, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Four, exhale, five, exhale, six, and exhale, and start to come down, come down. Cross, inhale, now collecting the chi, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three, exhale. Four, exhale, five, exhale, six, exhale, hand space, tension again.
Okay, you come down. We lift up. Over the head. And down. Body sinking, dropping, divide into two. Over the head. Fingers pointing down. One, two, three. And sinking, dropping, relaxing, divide into two. Three. One, two, three. And sink and drop. Divide into two. Even wider with the feet. Okay, this one, we want to shift the weight to one side, bring the hand to the yin tang point, change. And again, we're just going to go slow. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now into Shenzhou. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and into the lower dantian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two. Three, four. Okay, bring the feet inwards a little bit. Bring the chi into the dantian, one and two. Uh, this last one we do slightly differently. Okay, drop the hands. Tilt to one side. and release through the middle finger. Just let everything become a little bit floppy and then swap. One, two, three, and change. 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 Four. And just swap. Four. Swap. Five. Swap. Six. Swap. Okay, now lift up. Bring the hands over your head. One, two, and three. And we come down. And we divide into two and we sink with both the legs. And press and rise. And hands over. One, two, and three. And sink and drop. Divide into two. Number three. One, 
two, three, and sink, and drop. Okay, now we want to lift the hands up over the back of the head and to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pause. And you feel the heat from your hands or the chi flow going into the skin. This rejuvenates all your facial skin. Okay, and then change in direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just leave the hands at the back of the head. Feel the energy going into the back of the head, balancing the left and the right side of the brain, balancing the ears as well. Don't have to do it for very long. Okay, and then just letting both the hands come down. Okay, now one hand, third eye point, one hand, slow down to him. We sweep downwards, connecting the dantians together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, one hand out. This hand's lifting up the center line, so bring the chief and the dantian, middle dantian, out to the shoulder, down to the fingers. Turn the hand over, lift up, come down without touching. Feel that you're moving that energy through your body and then back down again. You can do it with one breath. And then when you get to your shoulder, exhale. What you can do with many breaths. Three. Four, five, and six. Swap hands. Bring the chief and the dantian to the shoulder. The fingers, fingers to shoulder, shoulder, fingers, fingers, inside, and back down again. And two, so you're doing the yin and the yang sides of your body. Inhale, come down, come up, come down, come up. Back down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Tap lightly.
Okay, about 36 times. Okay, and then we do the, the points in the body. So we do the first one, which is the point between the index finger and the thumb. So we massage the hergu point. So we can strike together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then change on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then from the wrist and flatten the wrist, I come a little bit closer. You don't need to see my body really, you just need to see the points. So here on the wrist, so find the first wrinkle if you like, the line that goes across. Three fingers up, so ring, middle, index, and then your thumb sits right in the tendon. Yeah, this is the point, and then you're just going to tap it lightly. Okay, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we come up to just beneath your elbow. So your elbow here, so just beneath this muscle that kind of comes down here. This is called Zusanli, sorry, Shosanli. Sho is for the hand, um, pericardium. So it connects to this finger. So we're gonna just very lightly tap three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Change to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we work our way up the arm. So for this one, we have to find underneath, underneath. So here where my thumb is. If I pull my thumb towards me and push up, then I'm in the right place. You'll feel like a very sensitive part there. Massage towards your body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Find it on the other side. So again, pull the muscle out of the way, push the thumb into the groove, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next one is underneath the armpit. Thumb goes underneath, all four fingers. Squeeze and release your armpit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is for your heart. So if it's sore, it just means the point needs unblocking, really. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we get into the shoulder. So on one side, if you, if you put your antenna up and then just tilt your head to one side, tuck your thumb in so that you've got like a, a choppy hand. Okay, come in towards the neck. Don't touch the neck though, because it's slightly out and it's not on the bone either. So right, right here um, and then just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then swap to the other side. So make your, so you tuck your thumb into your index finger, come over your shoulder, push your head up and then tilt your head so it doesn't hurt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, then the shoulders are done. Then we tap down. So this is your, your Ren My channel. Okay, we want to tap either side of that. Come up the rib cage, down. So this is your spleen channel. And the front of your body has your kidney, liver, and stomach. As many times as you like. Okay, now we turn to the back. So the back, we want to avoid the spine. So either side of your spine is your bladder. So go up as high as you can. Tap down and tap up. Okay, and then find your kidneys. Yeah, so kidneys not down here, kidneys a little bit higher. 
Okay, and then tap your kidneys. Okay, and then we come all the way down to either point here, here and here where the dimple is. This is the sciatic point. So we sit down in our chair and put our shoulders back slightly. Okay, and then if you rest your hands either side, either side of your legs and make very light fists. This is your gallbladder. And down, just above your knees, not touching your knees yet. This bit gets very tight, okay? And then we do the side of the knee. Okay, and then we're gonna do Zusan Lee, which is from the side of the knee, we just come down onto the calf that comes around. So Zusan Lee is the three miles more energy point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-six, so nine, nine, and then nine and nine again. We come behind the ankles, uh, behind the knee, just down from there. Uh, you can do with the flat of your hand or you can do with your knuckles. Okay, just tapping this bit. Okay, and then inside. Okay, and then up. Okay, and then the last bit we do, we come up on the toes. Toes, heels. Toes, heels. Toes, heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so the last bit we lift up and down. And two, and down, and three, and down. Hands on the dancing again. Okay, so this one we want to do, uh, ladies, you go anti-clockwise, and guys go clockwise. Okay, so the circle increases, so we begin small, Start to get bigger. Two, three, four, five six so we did 36 and then we reverse starting to get smaller Okay, 
three, four, five, six, 36, the other way. Okay, pause, hold. The arms come down. Going back to our arms coming down. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our original standing position. So shoulders dropping straight down, armpits open. Tuck your towel, push the head up, make sure the back of the head is lined up with the tailbone. And just lifting the hands. Keeping the elbows drop, shoulders drop, keeping the spine, relax the chest. Final part of the movement. Skeleton upright, everything else inside your body sinking down to your feet. Standing meditation. Tongue on the roof of the mouth behind the front teeth. The longer we stand, the more the body realigns itself. So there might be little shakes and micro adjustments and muscles unlocking. Just observe, that's all you have to do. Remember to breathe, breathing into the abdomen. Okay, so let the hands come down a little way. Inhale into the abdomen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 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 Kind of push the diaphragm down. Inhale, abdomen is still full, push the abdomen and diaphragm down. Five, six, seven, Nine. Okay, drawing the feet inwards. Okay, lifting. 
the tips of the fingers. And wash the front part of your body. One. Two. Three. Okay, now wash the back part of your body. Down to the heels and two. And three. And now wash the middle part of your body. And going through the center of everything. One. Two. And three. And then the final part is following the energy. So from the heel to the tail, to the center of your back, base of your neck, top of your head. Top of your head, through the neck, down to the shoulders, down to the wrists, then down through the chest, down through both legs. And again, heels, tailbone, center of your back, base of your neck, top of your head, down to the base of your neck, divide to your shoulders, down to your wrists, through the chest, down through both legs. And one more. Follow the energy up the back, follow the energy down the front. Try to divide it into many parts. Good. Okay, very nice. Well done, everyone. Very good. Go and have some lunch. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. We'll do some more Tai Chi tomorrow. If you're interested in like the the Taoist cleansing thing, uh, you can see that. Chigong Empowerment. So this has lots of Taoist exercises, Buddhist exercises, things like that in it. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Yeah, it's very good. Good, well done. Thank you. I'll see you all later. Perfect.